Hello friends, today this is Pranesh Kumar Misra. We are going to talk about active and passive voice. If you will be the part of this discussion, I hope the fear of changing active to passive voice will vanish from your mind. Students, uh, whatever we speak as I am speaking, I am eating, I am going, I go to school, all these lines are very much active. Voice means sound or to voice means to speak, to keep sound. And that sound is in active and sometimes it is in passive. To understand it with general example, let us understand that when a child says that I am sent to school, means he is sent to school, he is not going willingly. So the sentence is, I am sent or I am being sent to the school is passive. In India, passive has great space while speaking. Like when you say, Aye Virajiye, you are requested to be seated. So in place of please sit down, it is preferred to speak in passive voice. If you want to learn passive voice, you can sing it like this. I write a letter. A letter is written by me. I am writing a letter. A letter is being written by me. I mean to say, I have written a letter. A letter has been written by me. It's not a big task to grasp the mastery over active into passive voice. As far its structure is concerned, then Go to the structure. Ram is a mango. Your subject, verb, and object is there. Ram is subject. Its verb and a mango is object, the target, what he had to finish. So Ram is a mango. When you change it in passive voice, just change the word or order. First you take object first and then verb and then subject. That's all. A mango first. A mango is eaten by Ram. And if you go in continuous, follow the tense. A mango is being eaten by Ram. A mango has been eaten by Ram. Like that, when you follow the tense, you get the sequence. Another easy practice to grasp active and passive is take any process and method. Suppose traditional cooking of rice. I take a pot in active, in passive, a pot is taken by me. I pour some water into it, some water is poured into it, in passive. I wash rice, rice is washed by me, in passive, in active, I put it on ready fire, it is put on ready fire by me in passive. Like that, suppose you are to talk about cooking method of bread. How do we prepare a bread out of wheat? I take some flour. Some flour is taken by me. Wheat flour. And the next step, I knead it. I knead it. It is knead by me, needed by me. So the method and process if you take, my dear students, it will be very easy to practice active to passive. Take a process, speak first in active voice, active sound, active tense and whatever tenses you use directly, all dialogues are active. And to change it into passive, you just change it bring object first and then put helping verb and verb and then always one thing you have to do is v3 always you have to do verb third form written spoken these forms in passive voice i have a notes where i am going to discuss a few important rules that you should take care.
first one is uh, <coughs> what is active voice when a verb form shows that the subject has done something the subject has done something listen it is in the active voice example radhika read the book and passive voice example is when a verb form definition first when a verb form shows that something has been done to the subject something has been done to the subject listen carefully it is in the passive voice for example the book was read by radhika the book was read by radhika here we have taken the book first in passive voice and there in active voice we took radhika first so in active it was radhika read the book and in passive is the book was read by radhika so this was the introduction let us go through some uh, basic ground rules number 1 a sentence can be separated into subject verb and object that you have learnt already previously for example radhika is subject and read is verb here and the book is object no doubt that is already known by you in previous classes also rule number 2 you need to know prerequisite the object of the sentence in the active voice must be turned into subject object will be turned into subject while changing passive voice for example the book was read by radhika here the book was subject now and book is subject now and was read helping verb and verb and then by radhika is object so rules number 3 the subject of the sentence in active voice must be made the object how to make an object out of this example the book was read by radhika the book we are taking it first and radhika at last we are discussing active to passive voice the subject of the sentence was taken here as an object now now for through to be form to be the basic things that you want to know from active to passive is that how to translate or how to change that type of sentences which are objectless or when you change subjectless as ped kaate jate hain the trees are cut here by the people is not written log ped kaatte hain in hindi we say then people cut the trees and when we change into passive trees are cut actually dear students sometime it is not necessary to say that animals will not cut the tree insects will not cut the tree then why to write by the people here so ped kaate jate hain trees are cut tag these things also in your mind like thieves are arrested will you arrest the thief or will i as a teacher arrest the thief it is police who is to arrest the thief so of course we can say that thieves were arrested by the police it is not necessary to demarcate and to highlight all the time next is the past participle verb third form past participle of the verb must be used must be used i repeat earlier also i told you means for example the book was read by radhika the preposition by must be added by by preposition is must of the time required in such type of example like the book was read by radhika if we want to use by then we are going to miss it so i don't think that changing active into passive is not a cup of tea for you now and once again i repeat you for your good memory that in active voice we are speaking in the word order of subject verb object while in passive voice we are changing it just opposite ram eats a mango we are taking mango first in uh, passive voice a mango is eaten by ram you can make it bigger how he is eating 
or which type of mango he is eating and ram together with someone also eating so subject or object may be bigger don't think that it may be complete clouds like the rising sun is red so the rising sun this complete phrase may be a subject like that subject or object may contain more words than one here you can miss thinking that only ram syam radha or one object or one person or one noun or pronoun will be subject or object so practice makes a man perfect no doubt so of course i have given you few uh, hints that will lead you towards success in the spoken english and your better uh, written english no doubt and i hope that this practice of subject verb uh, subject object and subject verb object and object verb subject how to interchange it how to change it into active and passive will make your spoken english and written english free flow and correct english you will write in future especially for class 9 and 10 cbsc this will be very important video and to remind you if you want to practice it without any stress then while going anywhere while sitting anywhere while eating at night at dinner table you just go to the recipe of any kheer rice pudding bread or whatever you are eating then how it was cooked ask your mother or you already know and though you cook or not you know the method so go to the method speak first line in active voice and change it into passive voice your active and passive voice will be intact free of cost let us take another example starting few lines of making rice pudding i pour some milk into a uh, pot means some milk is poured by me into a pot like that you go on changing saying the methods that will be an interesting way for you to learn active to passive voice bye